release his life upon you he take away sickness disease and oppression miracles show us how god loves us the bible speak in the book of matthew 8 5 that after jesus entered into capernaum as he was there a man came to him and tell him how his servant lieth at home sick of palsy the man was crying and jesus tell him that well i'm going to come to come and heal you the man said no the centurion said i'm not worthy for you to come to my house speak the word as you speak the word my servant will be healed many of you may not be sick here but people are sick in your family somebody in your village somebody in your house you can speak the word from here and your father will be healed there you can speak the word from here your mother will be healed there many of you are streaming online you may not be here present but as we speak the word believe it your servant will be healed and at that very moment i realized it was not the word of jesus that healed him it was the faith of the man that still came and met jesus that healed him that means if that man had faith while he was at home his servant will still be healed you may be shocked it's not my word that will heal you tonight it's the faith that i'm building in your spirit right now as you wake up you discover that scale has fallen away that thing has just gone that pain has gone because now you are empowered i am empowering the divine nature in you and i'm empowering that god dimension in you to awake and break from every chain speak the word and my servant will be here jesus christ did not even speak the word and yet again he says it shall be as you have said is the man word that have healed him at that very moment he was healed in the book of acts chapter 4 29 the bible says, and now lord behold they are threatening and grant unto thy servant that with boldness that we may speak thy word and that you stretch forth thy hands and heal and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy son jesus my last scripture then we pray luke 8 41 you will go there you will see the story of a man named jairus he was a ruler in the synagogue and he came to jesus and besought him to come into his house for his daughter that was 12 years old is lying and she's dead rulers of synagogue need help from jesus we are in the new testamental culture jesus is inside of you and he wants to find expression when they beckon upon him my daughter is sick oh come and heal her when jesus christ stepped into the house you will see what he did why jesus entered into the house as he was there Jesus went and prayed for the lady and healed the lady. But when you go down in that same chapter, you are going to see an amazing story of the woman with the issue of law. A woman who has moved elder skelter, moved everywhere looking for solution. The Bible says she was wealthy, she had money. She went to every kind of doctor, spent all her money. I hope you will never wait until you spend everything before you look for jesus let your pride and your arrow cannot make you boast in the abundance of the money you had my uncle he had so much money when the money finished no more drugs again don't survive by drugs you cannot keep on buying you need the life of god you need the virtue of jesus and why she move everywhere well her money finished now she's broke she looked and heard that Jesus was passing to her region. And this woman had been with this issue for so many years. And people gather. She press, press, press. Now she had faith in herself. If I may but only touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. She was already whole. At that very moment, all what she needed was a contact. I want you to propose in your heart now. If I can but only pray, I will be healed. You have to propose something in your heart. She said, if I can only touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. And she pressed, she pressed, she pressed. As she touched the garment, virtue left Jesus. 
Jesus turned and said, Who touched me? Master, we are so many that are touching you here. He said, No, virtue have left me. Other people are touching me without an expectation. But this woman touched me with an expectation to be healed. You have to put a demand upon the expectation. I don't know the sickness. I don't know the disease. I don't know the pain. I don't know what has baffled you. I have my own problem. I told you I have my request. There are so many. I am putting an expectation that if I can only pray this request, you will see them manifest again and again and again. Faith may look like stupidity until it produces result. You can question one plus one. You can question two. Two is the answer. You can question my prayer now. You can question the result. The result are too evident. You can't deny. As she prays, as she touched, virtue left Jesus. I immediately when the virtue left Jesus, she was healed. It doesn't matter how long the sickness has been. No miracle in scripture is common. A man was at the pool called Bethesda for 30 something years. I don't know how old you are. For 30 something years, that man was coming every day. What kind of faith is that? That woman was suffering with the issue of blood for so many years. Yet again, she believed one day she will be healed. I know your situation has stayed for so long. I know they have told you it has been for so long. Online, outside, draw close to that your daughter. Draw close to that your mother. Draw close to that your father. Put your hand upon them and say, If I can but only touch them now and pray, they will be made healed. Jesus said, Virtue have left me. Who touched me? Rise up on your feet at this moment. Let's touch Jesus. Let's touch Jesus. Let's touch him.